Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you're new to the channel, hi, how are you? Welcome to the channel. My name is Azure Ya. I'm a 19 year old fashion designer currently based in Atlanta. Um, I have my own custom clothing brand where I sell tops, bottoms, sweatsuits, accessories, all that good stuff. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how I started my clothing brand that I currently own right now. Um, I'm just gonna be talking about what I did, you know, how I did it, and giving, you know, a little bit of insight, advice as to, you know, what you should do if you wanna start a clothing brand. Now, obviously, I don't have all the answers. I'm still learning as I go. I'm always gonna be learning. So this is just like what I've learned and what I've done. And, you know, I'm just sharing my experience with you guys. So yeah, before we get into the video, if you would make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like to um, keep up with me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on my socials. My Instagram and Twitter are the same, at Azure, yeah, and my TikTok is at Azure. My clothing website is azureya.com, and you can go and shop that. Let's get right into the video. This is like um, the backstory to all of this. I believe I started sewing when I was 13, and then I started making and designing clothes when I was 14. So, um, yeah, that's how all that worked. And I took a fashion design class in like the ninth grade and that really helped me. Um, I made my first dress and skirt in that class. So it really helped me to, um, you know, feel the fashion design world out for real. I made my first dress and skirt in that class and um, I modeled them. We had like a model, we had like a, model runway shoot type of thing fast forward to 18 years old i actually started going to a fashion school the fashion lab in downtown atlanta i started going there i went to their program for fashion design and merchandising that school and those teachers definitely taught me a lot about you know being an entrepreneur in the fashion world and working on and you know making clothes pricing clothes all that type of stuff and um, I'm very thankful for that opportunity that I had there. I went there from like May of 2020. During my time in that school, I launched my clothing brand on June 30th of 2021. That was my 19th birthday. And um, I launched my, pro my website that day. I launched my Instagram a few days before, but I just wanted to give like a backstory as to you know how I started or how I started sewing and like getting into fashion in the first place and yeah so without further ado let's get into you know the main part of the video okay the first thing here is building your websites I like research what I wanted to use for my website you know what fees I was willing I was willing to pay what um how i wanted my website to look and everything and i also wanted to build my website myself i wanted to make sure that i could build my website myself like with my products have it look nice and neat but me build it you know i'm very like independent when it comes to my business and like you know figuring things out on the business side of things like i like to figure things out for myself and like understand how things are gonna work so i wanted to you know just be able to build the website shopify and wix have actual templates for you to use when you're building your website you know shopify you do have to pay a monthly fee for when you're gonna be you know using it for your website you have to pay a monthly fee wix i um do wix is Free, but when it comes to like payments and like setting up your payments with your sh website I think there are like some fees involved it's not necessary but it's nice to have your own um, domain and basically your own domain is just like it's you know yours you know Shopify gives you a domain but it's like your website name dot my Shopify dot com you know and I you know that was fine when i first started out but i wanted my website name to be 
you know sleeker and like look a little bit more professional so i actually you know bought a domain azureya.com i just wanted it to be that i had to put some investment behind that instead of you know just sticking with the azure dot my shopify but at the end of the day that made my you know website a little bit more professional I, in my opinion now obviously that's not necessary at all you don't have to do that you know but i just wanted to do that for me and my business if building your website is a worry that you have you definitely should not worry about that at all there are plenty of um templates for you to use when it comes to building your website you know shopify and wix have templates for you to use and you know you can you know research how to build your own website because this day and age is really easy to build your own website for um yourself you know the second point i want to make is choosing my products so when i first launched my website i did not have a lot of products on there at all i think i had like two captains and then um these like and some hoodies and a hoodie um but i did not have as much as i do on my website right now you know when you're launching a website i feel like the best thing is to launch with a full collection because you have the collection you know ready to go like your 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 customer can see a full look at what your brand is and what you're doing but me i was just so ready to like i was just so ready to get into it i was so ready to get into my entrepreneur bag that i didn't want to wait so and i wanted to like launch my website on my birthday so that's besides the point like i would recommend to drop a whole collection when you're dropping your when you're launching your website so viewers can see what your brand is about um yeah i would definitely recommend that another thing when choosing my products i'm always thinking of you know uniqueness and individuality like who's like is this you know i'm trying to i'm thinking outside of the box like you know, like what isn't seen a lot what what's something different that i can like really create that i can bring out with my designs and i feel like that's a great thing to think about before you drop something there are so many clothing brands so you have to be able to differentiate your brand from everyone else's brand like what is gonna make that customer be like what is gonna make someone see a design you know they're they're, they're seeing a design and let me I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling on, I'm scrolling on in, the internet right now. I'm scrolling on the internet and I'm looking at clothes and stuff, you know, just looking around. Oh, I see, I see a design. That's so-and-so's design. That's Azure's design, but it's not even, but she didn't even see my name with it. She just saw the design. And she knew it was mine. Like, that's y'all. Like that was a funny reenactment. That's actually what I want people to, you know, be like. Like if they see a design, I want them to know that that's my design. Oh, my designs to be known is mine. And originality and individuality are, you know definitely important factors when having your own clothing brand because what's gonna make someone look at all these clothing brands and have access to all these clothing brands online and like in real life shopping in the malls and stuff but they choose to say no i'm not gonna shop here i want to shop or not even no i'm not gonna shop here but just like say let me go to your store and buy some clothes from you like what's gonna make them say that about your store and that's something that i definitely thought about or th think about still every time i put out new designs and stuff i'm always thinking like what's something out of the box i can do what's something different i can do we, we're all trying to make it to a place where people we're known our 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 work is known as ours i can honestly say that my designs are unique my sweatsuits now and I can say that these are different, like having 
having satin lined hoods is different i'm not saying that i'm the first and only person to do that because i'm not i'm saying that it's different and the fact that i have like the satin lining with the like minky soft um main fabric like i i have never seen anyone do exactly how i did like i've seen satin line hoods before but i've never seen it paired with like this really soft blanket material and you know like satin not only satin line pot not only satin line um hoods but satin line pockets satin line um hoodie pocket the satin lining in the pants pocket like i've never i haven't seen that exactly like how i have it and then how i have a satin line tote bag like i haven't seen that but i'm not saying that to like brag about my designs at all i'm saying that to like show that i really wanted to make sure that i was you know different with it the third point i want to make is clothing production my business is made to order so i'm gonna get into the two options that you know are basic to what you can do for your clothing brand so let me see um there's the option to do ready to wear production or made to order production ready to wear book or book production is when your your products are sold in finished condition in standardized sizes mass produced in different sizes and sold that way instead of designed and sold for one person which is how i do my products i design and sew for each person made to order is when your products are custom made to supply a special or an individual demand everything i sew by hand my minky satin sweatsuits my tote bag the bandana satin sweatsuits that i just came out with my dresses and stuff is all you know sewn by me so it's made to order so basically what that what that is is when someone someone places their order right they say they tell me what size they want they tell me what color they want i source the materials for it um you know sew it get the pattern or whatever sew it and you know send it off to them and that to me um calls for you know a more extensive look into my pricing just because i'm putting in a lot of effort and you know time specifically for this for this specific customer i want to talk um a little bit about my pricing so basically um my pricing includes the um cost of materials like so all the materials i got for this person's order plus my labor and time plus shipping stuff like that so that's what i um look at for all of my products um i look at you know what i'm gonna have to spend ballpark and um the time and effort i'm gonna have to put into that garment i would definitely say you know examine what your prices should be and stick to them put your foot down when it comes to your prices because they're your prices you know what you're putting into your business so you know don't allow yourself to be swayed you know with no reason when it comes to your products and your prices point four is promoting my business nowadays promoting your business is i would say the easiest that has ever been you know as far as like actual labor and like putting in work goes because you can literally post a video on tiktok of your business and your products and go viral that day like i don't want to say that and have you expect it to be easy it's not guaranteed that you're gonna go viral you see so many people going viral and stuff for whatever they do and you you think that it's easy because you see a lot of people going viral but truthfully like you're not guaranteed instant popularity on social media especially when you're just starting out like it's not guaranteed so you definitely have to work you know work for it and you know put get creative with your advertising ideas and all that all of these different social media platforms that are at your fingertips literally me personally i use all of the major social media platforms i heavily use um instagram twitter 
and TikTok IG Reels to so before I started my Instagram um a couple of days before I launched my website I did not have any social media presence barely like I was I had never had an Instagram before I had to build from zero literally because I had never really been on social media before so you should take that initiative to use social media to bring some traffic 25 is the old faithful promoting in the real world I've been doing pop-up shops so basically pop-up shops if you don't know are when you take your business you take your brand and showcase a nice display of your brand in a public setting um, a public group vendor setting so basically that's what I've been doing my first one was um, Afro Soka Love. I actually vlogged that if you want to go watch that one. I have it up there so you can click on it. But yeah, I did Afro Soka Love and that was a great experience. When you're doing pop-up shops, you not only get to, you know, expose your brand to new people and sell your pieces to these new people. You can also get to meet other creatives like yourself who are, you know, trying to network and promote themselves. Um, I've gained a lot of mutual connections um, with other fashion designers down here in Atlanta through pop-up shop just the two pop-up shops I've been I sold that I went to other pop-up shops and like markets where you know clothing businesses clothing brands were at and you know I tell them about myself and you know we just you know network and there we go you know mutuals now on instagram or whatever pop-up shops are definitely a great thing to do if you're trying to network around your city and of course word of mouth is always going to be you know a tried and true way to talk to promote your business when i launched and started my business i most definitely told the family yes most definitely did most definitely told my friends or whoever my co-workers you like clothes i know you do who doesn't who doesn't like clothes so whenever you you know want to get some clothes or whatever check out my website you know i just launched it check out my website i got hoodies you know for you i got a dress you need to be on all that type of timing like promoting yourself to the t like very much so very much so because this is your brand like with the help of the most high this is something that you made so there's no reason as to why you know you shouldn't be telling your everyday people that you're around like you know you, you you're sitting around with friends or whatever tell them about your business like, did you say clothes girl i have a clothing brand boom right there you just promoted yourself you told them about your clothing brand give them your socials give them your instagram Tell them that your website link is in the bio and boom, you could get a sale just like that. Branded packaging and supplies. Like it's not necessary for as soon as you, you know, launch your website that you have to have, you know, thank you cards and business cards. And it's definitely very helpful and professional to have your own packaging. This is my thank you card right here. Um, it basically says my name Azure and then it says thank you so much. I truly appreciate it I love making this for you feel confident and unique in your custom piece show the world on your socials Fashion life prosperity, which is my like slogan fashion life prosperity. It has my show socials right here my um, Instagram and Twitter which are Azure uh, right there. It has my old um, website right here, which was Azure dot my shopify.com i need to update these but even if you type that in you're still gonna get to my current um website so i guess it's fine and then it has my business email right here so it's definitely very um cute and professional to get some at least some thank you cards like literally to drop if even if you're not like putting your own branded packaging if you're not sending it sending your products with your own branded packaging and then i have like a logo for my brand on the back so yeah i got these from that is called zazzle.com and yeah they were not um that expensive at all i also have business cards um i recently just got my clothing labels 
obviously when you're selling clothing you want to brand your clothing like right now this hoodie has nothing on it that literally says Azure on it or my brand's name Azure yeah it doesn't have anything on it that says that and I need that so I got it having branded packaging for your business it's just a nice addition to make make your brand look you know professional wearing the different hats in your business so like me personally i have help around me like tremendous help my parents help me with whatever you know materials i need whatever advice i need whatever you know support i need they're there for me they're helping me when it comes to actually sewing and you know stuff like that i am the main seamstress i sew all of my i'm the only person that sews my stuff so um you know i wear that hat you know and then i also take the pictures take my product pictures if i'm not the one modeling then i'll get if i am the one modeling then i'll get someone else in my family to take the pictures for me but if i'm not the one modeling then i'm taking pictures of my products whether you know someone else is modeling them for me you know or i am um just taking them myself but um yeah um and then when it comes to like editing and stuff like that i also am doing that um, when this YouTube right here, I learned how to edit and like actually, you know, make my videos how I wanted them to look and, you know, edit my pictures and stuff like that for Instagram. Like, um, it all is very exciting to me to learn new ways of how to make my stuff look better and make myself look more professional and make my stuff look different, you know? So I, I really, I really enjoy the technical part of everything promoting and stuff like that and the whole business side financial um aspect to running a business like all of that i wear all those hats sometimes you have to wear all those hats at the same time <laughs> lastly this is the last point i would just like to say that having confidence in your brand is one of the most important things this is your brand so you need to be confident in your products and have fun with your brand like being an entrepreneur and being a business owner is such a blessing from the most high you're using a gift that the most high has given you to make and you're making a business out of it and a career out of it for yourself and in today's society it's not as common as you would think so i'm definitely very um thankful for being able to be an entrepreneur so i'm very grateful to be able to make a career out of my work so and it's definitely something that I don't take for granted. Um, I try not to take for granted and um, I'm very thankful for it. But yes, make sure to definitely have fun with your brand. Like this is something that's, an, this is an amazing experience for you. So be serious about your brand, but also remember to, you know, have fun with it and, you know, be confident in what you're doing. Me personally, I feel like everyone should try to make money from something that they love doing like if you love to cook literally sell your food open a restaurant if you love to sew and make clothes start your own clothing brand if you love to work on computers um make an app like <laughs> there's so many um talents that the most high gives us that we can you know become prosperous and successful with if it's in his will and that's a great thing so surround your business with positivity prosperity success you know those type of you know energies and stuff like that and pray for prosperity and you know success and positivity around your brand you know so yeah that was this video this was my first sit down video um and i think it went really well um if you guys if anybody has any questions <laughs> questions questions anybody questions you in the back <laughs> oh my goodness let me stop if you have a question please do not hesitate to leave it in the comment below in the comments below i will definitely answer any questions about this video or anything about business and stuff like that that you have thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed 
um make sure to leave a like comment subscribe all that type of stuff turn post notifications on um and yeah if you want to continue to follow my fashion journey make sure to follow me subscribe to me on here and also you can um follow me on my other social my instagram and twitter are the same at azure yeah and my tiktok is at azure make sure to shop my website um azure yeah.com and yeah thank you so much for watching and i appreciate each and every one of you peace love may the most high bless